Hi, fellow Mech Warriors and uh, developers. This is CERN from the Mech Warrior Registry. I wanted to take some time and show everyone where Homeworld, the the Mech Warrior Registry uh, League development, was going back in 2004-ish. This is a proof of concept I made back then um, for a league that took a resource planetary base league to the next level. Um, this was all designed by me. It's all interactive, database driven. We had servers and maps and also, you know, servers that would automatically serve up maps and settings for battles and all sorts of stuff that we had developed. Um, I had developed a, mo a lot of that, but I kind of wanted to show you where this was going so that you could understand where MechWarrior Online's community warfare could go. I think this would be a tremendous addition to the intellectual property and a lot of fun for players. And I, I want to show you why. If you look over here, we have a, just a simple little chat um, app. You know, that's no big deal. You can chat in general or you can chat with your group. Um, your, you know, your group would be your clan or your IS house or faction or whatever. Here we have a map that looks similar to the Community Warfare Overview map. This is the Battletech Universe or Battletech Galaxy map. Um, the Galaxy and Battletech, uh, when they set it up, they did the math wrong. So the planets, the systems are in the wrong place really. Um, but n nobody's ever bothered to fix it and it's close enough. So because this is flashed, you can zoom in and stuff, but it's not really, you know, you've all seen the Community Warfare map. It's not developed to that point. This was a uh, proof of concept. Instead of zooming into each planet here, um, you select the different sectors, and then the sectors come up with a 3D map of all the different planets and in their, in their location and you can zoom in and look at the planets the system allows you to use your keyboard and mouse to navigate around the universe uh, or the galaxy I should say um, and and this is where it gets interesting of course different groups can own planets but in homeworld we were trying to make a league where a player could own sectors of a planet so by default each planet started with four sectors because that's how our league had played for the preceding decade so we have four four sectors you had a capital sector an industrial sector and two other sectors so you had to own one sector before you could attack the industrial sector once you owned the industrial sector you could attack the capital sector and then own the planet but notice how each, how each of these little squares has different terrain in it we had hundreds of maps to choose from, from um, in the MechWarrior franchise over the years. So each of these maps would link to a subset of maps that deal with that type of terrain. Um, now when we started creating maps for all these planets in the galaxy, of course that's a tremendously large feat, right? That's not easy to do. So what we did is this we created well I guess let me show you this first let's go to the main sector of the map where everyone wants to be Terra let's scroll up and look at Terra this little interface has some uh, fun little uh, games you can play just playing around with this 3D engine that I wrote in Flash. Um, okay, here's Terra. And you will notice that each of these sectors, like these sectors are blue because they're owned by a group. They're owned by the group Dev. But there's also these little circles with letters in them. Those represent lances of mechs. So here's an assault lance, heavy lance, a light lance and players you know depending on the color the player the players have a different color uh, to represent their lances but they can move these lances around the map and then take over sectors 
and because each sector has a unique terrain type you may become you may have a favorite set of maps so you could have specific mechs designed to take over that map and on your home world you could have maps and mechs specialized to your playing style that people would have to try to take from you or that you you know expanded out from and used as your core base so let's say someone here some group takes a sector here then they take the industrial sector then they take the capital they may get their tags on the planet but there's so many extra sectors that you could have on the planet that players could own so a group may maybe could take this the capital sector but players probably could also take a capital sector but players have a lot of space in which to set up their own home worlds so this is earth of course there's room on this map for planets bigger than earth um, and what you would do is you would sign in I'm gonna sign in myself so you can see I have several mechs um, let's see here Winfield um, okay so it took me back to earth for whatever reason let's sign out sign back in again this was just a proof of concept so all the bugs weren't worked out <laughs> there we go um, so you can see here that the blue mechs I think are mine uh, maybe maybe not I forget what I meant but all that is explained here now again this map only had four sectors that's the default so we allowed players to build maps so let's say you wanted to build a hills world you would just come here you'd have to have a sign in for the mech warrior registry but uh, you want to build some hills okay let's build a world with hills let's put uh, maybe a couple of these sectors here maybe we'll have a arctic zone down here let's spin these guys around so it looks a little bit better there's a help file right here so you can kinda of see how all the how to, to run this map builder let's uh... maybe put one just city sector with some trees maybe a capital sector here um, put some more hilly frozen areas up top maybe some water uh, maybe a little bit of marshland just to mix it up Oop. and some let's see here this is a little bit too too much the same so let's put that together okay so we have a hilly area we need to add a capital sector we need to add an industrial sector if you don't the system will just use the current existing uh, sectors which would be in this corner over here let's say there was a moon on this map you could you could have a little moon just put it over here you know separate it out if you wanted some way to get there you might put a dropship um, dropship on the map if there's some place with a lot of defense or a mech bay or something you might put a mech bay somewhere um, let's see so let's put it okay well anyway that's the general generally how it worked um, it lists in alphabetical order the planets like of that type um, let's say this and when it's all done you can go to the planet and look at it 
And now Planet 563 has a new new uh, new map. So you can see that this would be pretty fun having having the ability as a player to own sectors, to build maps, to uh, you know travel around the the galaxy with your teammates and and take over planets that weren't just a couple of dots on the map. Now, now, now the planets actually have terrain, and uh, that terrain is linked to the type of missions and type of uh, terrain you're going to fight on that planet. So, um, you know, I hope this was useful for everybody, and I hope it's uh, informative to maybe what we can see in Community Warfare someday, um, you know, if, if it's ever taken to that next level. So thank you very much, and I will see you on the battlefield.